Hi, I'm Tanner with Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over, this is a 2022 Trails West Classic 3 horse gooseneck. It's a really, really, you know, like new condition used trailer. Um, the cool thing I like about it is it's got a ton of little upgrades I think you guys will love. Um, so you guys can get a pretty, you know, a 2022 used trailer with a ton of upgrades. Um, I'll show you these upgrades as we walk around this trailer and kind of go over this Trails West a little bit. Up here under the nose, um, pretty standard stuff thing I like about this Trails West is it is diamond plated down though. That way if you're kicking up rocks while you're traveling, you're not dinging up paint on the trailer. You're dinging up this diamond plate, which is really easy to clean, really easy to maintain, and really easy to play, replace if you ever need to. The other thing I noticed is on this standard uh, jack right here, the grease certs are really easy to get to. You can grease this jack really easy and really effectively and just keep this jack running efficiently for you guys. The other cool thing I like about it, whoever built this trailer off to go for a battery, um, small little upgrade makes a big difference. By having a battery on here, you're going to be able to run all the lights in this trailer without having to have it hooked to your truck or a generator if you had a 30 amp package. So it makes it really helpful if you're not hooked on and you need to run out to your trailer and check on your tack and stuff like that. Here's going to be your handle to jack this trailer or crank that manual jack that I showed you guys earlier. Really cool storage area. It's not really rattling against anything. It's got a rubber housing which is real nice and quiet for you guys. Of course you have your 7 pin cable. You do have your safety chains as well as your breakaway battery. When we bring these used trailers in, we run them through our shop, they check everything on them. So they're checking your lighting on the trailer, they're checking this breakaway battery to make sure the battery's good to power your brakes in case of emergency. They're checking all your lights, they're checking pretty much everything on this trailer. So you guys can know that you're getting the best quality used trailer you can find. Moving up here, this is kind of your front tack. It's got a really cool setup in this trailer. You'll have a front tack as well as a double mid tack, which is really cool. But on the door to this front tack, you will have a little brush tray. It is carpet lined, so it'll kind of help cleaning that brush tray. It's lined with the same carpet that the whole interior is lined with in here. You'll have your drop deck. It will be carpeted um, as well as you will have a boot box below there. The cool thing I like about doing a boot box is it gives you a lot of storage to you know, organize your stuff, not have stuff floating around in here while you're traveling. I really kind of like that they did the 50-50 option because it gives you all that space over here and kind of the smaller short wall front tack to store totes, anything you might need to store like that. On your partition wall, it is fully carpeted. I like that it's fully carpeted in this trailer. Just again, if we're stacking totes or we're doing stuff like that or maybe if you want to hang some bridle hooks here later someday, you're not scratching up this partition wall. This trailer is going to look nice and clean for years to come. It also has a walkthrough door into that mid tack area I was talking about. We'll step back in there here in a second. But again, it's kind of cool having that walkthrough door just because you get that front tack area. Or you can use that mid tack as a mud room or use your front tack as a mud room to your mid tack. That way you're not, you know, mixing your blankets, mixing your saddles and stuff like that. And it's easier for, you know, two or three or four people to get around this trailer if you're all trying to saddle at once. Here on that mid tack door, we do have this nice door organizer again. Organize your brushes, organizing your sprays. It's got some enclosures and stuff like that. Just keep all your stuff nice and organized while you're traveling, as well as another one of those brush trays below that. You do have a sink swing out saddle rack on this tail side. The cool thing I like about it is it does, again, have another bag for keeping your brushes and sprays. So you can tell there's a ton of organization on this trailer. Whoever built it really thought it out. Um, again, that'll swing in really nice and easy. Again, making it real easy for people to access this trailer as you're walking around this trailer. So I talked about how many options this trailer has. It's kind of loaded up with options, I feel like, for a Trails West. You get that double tack room, um, but you get these swing out blanket bars. The cool thing about them is, is they're you know, positioned on this wall right now. They're going to be able to hold your blankets in there nice and tight. That way they're not falling while you're traveling. But you can swing it out to about a 45 degree angle, and you can see that angle is right out the door, and it makes it real easy for you guys to just slide blankets right off there and go to saddle on your horse. And then again, you can push your blankets up over against the wall for traveling. Over here in the corner behind these blanket bars, again, we have a set of bridle hooks down low and a set of bridle hooks up high. Again, it is fully carpeted behind them just to keep this trailer in nice shape while you guys are traveling. You can see there is a water tank over there mounted in the corner. It does come with a hose, and the thing I really like they did on this water tank is they mounted it high versus on the ground. That way, if you do want to fill a bucket, you can always just slide a bucket underneath that water tank and fill a bucket that way. We'll swing around that other side, we'll walk around the trailer and I'll show you guys the other kind of half of that mid tack room. It's pretty much going to mirror that side we were just in, but again, you guys will be able to see both sides. Here on your tail wall, it is bus sliding type windows. 
Um, again, kind of maximizing airflow in these trailers. This trailer is going to give you a lot of options with your drop downs on the front, your buses on the side, and as well as your air vents up top. Also has some really cool airflow dividers in them, which I really like. So you can operate these windows, you can lock them in place, that way they're not floating around while you're traveling. We do have about a six inch you know, LED light above these tie out rings. That way if you are saddling like I talked, you do have that battery. You can saddle horses right here and not have a truck hooked to it if you're at your house or a show and your truck's unhooked, stuff like that. You can always just click these lights on not being hooked up. You will have three tie rings on this side as well, as well as some nice looking aluminum wheels to kind of match this trailer. Again, it's a 2022, so it's a really, really clean trailer and it looks really, really flashy the way they set it up. I really like the setup on this trailer. Going around the back to our load side, this is a 60-40 door setup. So again, you can load horses with one door shut. It is going to give you a lot of extra width on that right hand side. But the thing I like about this trailer is look how big this back, uh, back stall is. If you have bigger horses, you can always put two in the front and then this big back stall, you can load a huge horse in here and still have plenty of room for them to float around while you travel. So again, it's going to be really comfortable for your horses to travel in this trailer. You get these nice, thick, heavy rubber mats. And underneath that, you do get a treated wood floor. So again, wood floors are great. They're going to last a, you know, a lifetime for you guys. But if you do ever have to replace it, it's super easy. You can just put new boards down and screw them back in. You're not having to worry about you know, cutting out and unwelding an aluminum floor or re-welding an aluminum floor. I want to point out, as you guys see, it's pretty much lined with kick mat. Um, you got kick mat on these doors, and you got that black kick mat about halfway up all the way around this trailer. I really like that they went about halfway versus you know a foot, foot and a half up, just because you're going to have horses leaning, kicking, pawing, and it's going to really help protect this trailer by having that kick mat wrap around here. Now, the thing I really like are these dividers. They're padded, but I mentioned they were airflow dividers, so again, your horses are going to be able to see each other. If you have some horses that get pretty antsy if they can't see each other, and I think this is really going to help with that. But also, again, that airflow. You're not limiting the airflow from your front windows reaching your back horses. It's going to flow through and hit every single horse in this trailer. And I really like that it's got a, pretty much a slam latch on it that operates really efficiently. It's pretty much twisted. It runs that latch, but then you can just push it shut without having to latch it. The reason I like that is because if you have a horse that's tight to load, you can always just shove them in here and then slam the gate behind them versus trying to finagle with the latch. Talking about airflow a little bit, you are going to have your roof fence in this trailer. Um, you also notice the big drop downs on the front. So you have plenty of air for your horses. The thing I like about them, I had a customer in the other day that was saying she would never buy another trailer without these uh, jail bars in them. And I, the reason she stated it, and I kind of agree with her, is if you have your horses like stick your head out the windows, you see a lot of people travel that way. Um, sometime or not, they're going to get hit with something, whether it be a rock, anything like that. And you always think it won't happen to you, but I've heard some stories of horses hanging their heads out the windows, catching a rock in the eye or something like that. So she swears by these jail bars. I kind of agree with her. I think this Trails West has a big upgrade as far as having these jail bars. You don't see a lot of these. You know, medium range trailers having little upgrades like that. Speaking of little upgrades, another thing I want to point out is all these dividers are operated by a gas piston. Cool thing about it is you're going to open these dividers and that piston is going to hold these over against the wall without having them latch. So they're really strong gas pistons. So you're going to have to worry about these floating around while you're traveling or having to latch and unlatch them while you're traveling. And then coming down the tail side here, I showed you guys them bus windows, but it do have LED strips above each window. So again, you're going to have plenty of light in here if you need to check on your horses while you're loading your horses or in the event that you, you know, pull over and need to feed while you're going down the road or something like that. You will also have about another six inch LED load light on the back of this trailer. Again, loading your horses late at night, early morning, and we want you guys to have plenty of light to see not only what you're doing, but for your horses to see what they are doing as well. Moving down the head side of this trailer, again, you'll be able to see those big drop down windows. They're nice, big, and wide. So again, we're really maximizing the airflow for your horses on the inside. They're really easy to operate too. You can operate them one-handed. The thing I like about them is you have the option to drop them all the way down and maximize the airflow of your horses. Or well, the reason I like them is because they all have little sliders in them. I like having little sliders in your drop downs because if you go to feed your horses and you have them windows dropped all the way down, it's just gonna blow your hay and feed all the way around this trailer. But by closing it and open, opening just your little slider, you're going to give your horse some air, but also allow them to be able to eat and not have that hay blow around everywhere. thing I also like about them, we talked about checking on your horses a little bit. These work similar to our Cimarron windows. Um, they will have these drop down jail bars as well. So again, if you do need to feed your horses while you're traveling, you can always drop that jail bar, jump up on the running board of this trailer and throw hay in here really easy for you guys. 
Above these windows, again, you will have another six inch LED light. If you were to saddle over here, feed over here, maybe tie out for the night over here, you're gonna have plenty of light to be able to see what you're doing. I also wanna point out, there's a little rubber housing for each one of these windows. So these windows are made to travel drop down. They're gonna hold themselves in place, um, keep it safe for you guys when you're traveling. But I just like to point that out. A lot of people question that whether or not it's safe to have these windows. They're gonna lock in place. Even when you're turning and stuff, they're not gonna flip open. So here we are, this is gonna be pretty much a mirror image to what we already looked on the other side. You do have your swing out saddle rack, minus your little uh, basket that that other one had. And then again, you will have your brush tray over here, fully carpeted to make it easy to clean for you guys. Both these saddle racks run on a gas piston, just kind of similar to those uh, dividers I showed you guys inside. But then inside is pretty much, you know, a mirror setup to that other side. You're gonna have your little blanket bar right here, which again is gonna allow you to saddle right out this door really easy. You're gonna have more bridle hooks up high on this partition wall. This trailer has plenty of storage, plenty of upgrades. You know, I'll just show you guys it, and the whole backside of this partition line is lined with bridle hooks as well. You also get another nice little tray over here in the corner on your head side. Again, it's kind of the same tray they set up with that water tank, but they left it as just a shelf for you guys. If it was me, I'd throw another water tank there. You can never have enough water in while you're traveling, whether it be for you, your horses, your dogs. Um, you go through a lot of water while you're traveling. And sometimes, especially in winter months, it's hard to find a place that'll let you guys fill up with water. Um, whether it be a fairgrounds has their water shut off for winter or it's non-potable water at a gas station or something like that. So this gives trailer gives you plenty of options to store all your tack and all your amenities while you're traveling. So again, this is a 2022, so it's a really, really nice used trailer. It's been through our full reconditioning program in our shop, um, which pretty much runs through a top of the line tech and they check everything that can be checked on this trailer and they service it and replace it if possible. Um, if you're interested in this trailer, it is sitting here today. It is available just in time for Christmas. The stock number on this trailer is 5U211223. Again, it's a 22 Trails West Classic. It's a three horse gooseneck, um, seven wide, seven tall. It's a clean little setup trailer. If you're interested in this trailer, maybe some other used trailers we have sitting here just in time for Christmas, maybe some trailers we have coming in, or even if you guys want to custom build a trailer, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name is Tanner. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.